How do you get mending books? Well, you need a mending villager, and then you're going to have to get paper trades to get the emeralds to get the books. So I'm going to build a sugarcane farm that will give me enough sugarcane to get infinite amount of emeralds. But first, I'm going to make a little sheep farm. Break time. What did I do wrong? Two hours later, and I'm finally back at base with these sheep. Oh wait, I had two! Oh well, I guess I lost one. Well, two? Wait, no. One plus one equals three, yes. Big brain math. My little sheep farm doesn't actually look that bad. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself, at least compared to um, my low standards, compared to my little tree house here and my magical bungalow? Bungalow? I don't know what it's called, but you know, it's where I do magic stuff. Okay, now it's time to get like a game plan in for this farm. I'm gonna do like a pattern where it's like the most efficient, but I don't know the pattern. Okay, I figured out the pattern now. It's like, um, never mind. Okay, I actually figured out the pattern this time. It's just like three, and they're like wacky. Okay, this pattern is very easy to recreate after you're started, but getting started is hard. Ooh, which one do I put it in? I'm guessing that one. Oh, well, um, maybe I should head home before I get shot again, or shot at again. Because of the water physics, I want to kind of fill in all these little water holes with slabs. So it's like flatter, and that can be another point up on... Toy Cat? Wait, did I even mention that? I'm trying to make this farm better than Toy Cat Sugarcane Farm. It has to be more than just bigger, because bigger is easier. It has to be better. Ow! Why would you do that? Ow! No, no, no. Okay, I think there's two of them, and I'm about to lose all 17 of my levels, which isn't much, actually, but, you know, I still want to keep them. After about six hours of just placing blocks, it's about time for a little reveal. We got this whole section done, so we're making very big progress, and... Through all my thinking, I think this is going to work, and my shovels are kind of breaking and getting very low durability, so I'm probably going to go work on getting more shovels. Yeah, because this takes a lot of dirt. Wow! A whole inventory full of dirt. I wonder how that got there. It's not like my only thing to do right now is mining dirt or anything. See, look, I can do parkour. Never mind. After nearly burning myself to death and a couple more hours of placing a whole bunch of blocks down, I actually got a whole nother chunk done. I'm, like, I can see this actually turning out somewhat decently. I have a lot of size that I'm taking up, so I'm definitely going to be producing a lot of sugar cane. And once I fill it in, it's going to be like a massive field, so I think it's going to look okay. I, sh I should do something with the lighting. Like, I'll have to at least torch it so mobs don't spawn. Yeah, let's get back to work. Ooh, trident. I should actually try to get a good trident. I'm getting confused again. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh, creeper. Hey, it didn't blow anything up. I feel very lucky right now, and I'm gonna cut it short and just go to bed. Just gotta love the rain. Just nice, wet rain. Oh, ooh, a little cave here. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of skeletons. Um, haha, <laughs> it's a 1v1v1v1. At least I think, okay, no, 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 it's a 3v1, it's a 3v1. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Um, safe space, no one's allowed in. My room, go away, mine. Bye. Ow! You know what? I do this to myself when I don't wear my headset and I can't hear anything, so I can only blame myself. Semi-final review, or reveal, I'd finished placing all the dirt that I'm gonna place for this farm. Now I just gotta, like, fill in the gaps where there's no water where there should be. And look it, the farm already goes out of render distance after I just mess with that. But anyways, I'm just gonna kinda do some edits. I just made the wheat farm disappear. Anyways, I'm finished this work up. Landed it. I need to figure out a better system of getting my water buckets refilled other than re like running to the infinite water source. Oh wait, I'm literally standing on a river.
Ta-da! Look at it. I actually kind of like this. I mean, the cobble and the deep slate doesn't really match. That is something that I could probably fix, but am I? No, I'm lazy. So it's just going to stay like that, and we're going to have contrast. I'm going to go mine coal now. Hopefully this comes out on top and like it's just a part of the river because if it's not well I'm just gonna die here. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. This is right up here. Um Okay, this isn't gonna be too bad. I just got to break this dirt block and it'll be fine Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not gonna work. Okay. Uh water bucket water bucket. No, come on That should at least give me a little bit of oxygen well, I got all my stuff back successfully, so now I'm going to light this place up, and yeah, let's do that before I plant. I want to at least put all these torches on the cobble, so of course it doesn't obstruct my sugarcane. Wait, maybe I should make a pattern with these so it's like equally lit up. Yeah, I should do that instead of this. That'd be much smarter and more effective at keeping mobs out. Well, I've got all the torches down, so that's another thing checked off the list. But wait, oh, I probably shouldn't have went to sleep so I could show you guys. And I could have actually seen, because I didn't actually look at that, but... More work to do, so let's get back. Burn. I really need a sword, but you know, fire does it just as good. Over the time I was actually building this behemoth of a farm, which I kind of say is kind of complete, but I mean... I don't really want to say that until it's actually planted. It's it's able to plant, but you know, you actually got to plant it to make it count, right? Yeah, 100%. But yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stacks, so I'm going to count how many stacks I put in so I can estimate or tell you guys how big this farm actually is. Time for one more review. And look at it. the torches are actually looking really nice and like the way it projects the light on the sugarcane. I really like the kind of plaid checker type pattern that it puts on it. I really like that. I had no intent of actually doing it like that. And I also lit up the wheat farm a little bit so it blends in a little bit better. But I'm actually pleased on how this is turning out. I just got to farm a whole ton of sugarcane to fill in the rest of this because that took... That took over 30 stacks, I think, if I remember right. I have some in my inventory, but that's that's from new stuff that I already had. I figured out the best way to actually just place this stuff, and it's just you have to find the right spot where you're looking downwards where you'll place it to the max distance, but you won't stack them up top and mess the numbers up. Well, at least if I'm in the water with a creeper, it's only going to blow me up, and it's not going to blow the ground up, which I mean... I. Oh, I should really fix up all my creeper holes around base, but I mean, I think procrastination is the best way to solve problems, right? I mean, if you pretend they're not there, they're obviously not there, thus making the problem go away, thus making the world a better place. See? This is all arithmetic. Okay, it's finally time for the final reveal. It's all planted now, and like, it's still growing, so there is some weird looking spots. It'll, it'll look a little bit more uniform once all the sugar cane's three high and I start harvesting it. Well, I mean, if I harvest it, it's going to not look all the same, but, you know, it, it's going to look good once it's all to the top, and I think it looks good already. But now it's time for some statistics on this build, if I land this right. Yep. This build can hold over 10,000 plants in it, which is crazy. And actually, like, with where my base is, like, way at the ends of the farms, it's not even growing, but for the exact numbers, this farm has a total of 10,903 plants, according to what I could calculate from the amount of stacks of sugarcane I used. I tried to make that as precise as I could, although it could probably be differentiating in, like, a couple, maybe, like, less than five, I'd imagine. Because I, I took really good care to keep all my numbers straight. So if you could harvest this once every hour, I mean, you'd practically have 22,000 sugarcane per harvest. Or not per harvest. But yeah, because it's two on top. So in conclusion, this would easily reach over 22,000 an hour just because of the fact that there's two on top of each other. And sugarcane does take less than an hour to get three high. But due to the inefficiencies of the farm being so big, you would have a little bit of an area where you wouldn't get the max out of it, but I think the extra growth speed on the stuff that's closer would pretty much make it even to 22,000. But anyways, 
I think we beat Toy Cat because this farm is more efficient on the water usage. But I mean, water usage still isn't too important because it's infinite. But it also, I think, looks a little better and it's not a tower. So that's plus one for me. As well as ours being a little bit more well lit. I think that's also another plus, and you can't accidentally fall to your death, which is of course another plus. I'd say in conclusion, ours is better, but anyways guys, this is the end of the video. Please like and subscribe, and leave any other video ideas or build ideas that you'd like to see me build down below in the comments, or any other tips that would make these videos better for y'all. I love hearing all of your suggestions and constructive criticism, as well as all your support, so see you in the next one.